Hello everybody, my name is Nick, and welcome back to Darkwood. In the last episode, we set the tray on fire, so, uh, there's that. I feel it may have caused a ripple effect, but, you know, who knows? Okay. Nothing to refill with. Uh oh. Oh boy. That ain't good. W R A. Why? Why not? Why did you do it? Nope, shit. Oh shit. We can make it through this. Probably. We got an extra magazine. Ouchie! Okay, so they're just coming from the building. Uh oh. Turn back on, okay. Okay, that only bought me seconds at most. 
That's all I need. That's all I needed. So, where are the three? Are they also on fire? Well, I'm gonna need a fresh mag, so... Just in case. So many shovels. Open before. No. Do I have a gas can on me? No. Yep. Nope. Not worth it. Right. I thought that was the way in. Actually, move that out a little bit. Oh. Okay. That'll work. <laughs> oh, that's a jack shit. Oh, shit. Thank you, game. That was very, uh, good. I expect things to be burned down by now. I feel cheated. Is this 
this open? Several plan B's. Alright, so I need to go around. Rock mushrooms. Got my flashlight ready. Safe to get near here. Do we need a respirator? Oh. Oh, geez, where are we now? Okay, no map. Skills are still applicable, so combat might be part of this. Oh, thanks. Person is off the table today. Explore a little bit. Yeah, something right. 
Come on, Lieutenant Dan, you got this. What caused all of this? no escape is there Can we get in the truck not. Okay, it goes up over there, but what's over here? Besides so darkness and probably death. Get jumped here. Skills, no weapons, no inventory, no HUD. Clearing. Power lines. I like the detail that it has a lot more dimension. Substation what? The architecture screams so good. 
then again, I guess this does take place in Poland. And they're gone. Rip. Who's gonna eat the bread now? Oh, the birds! It scared up the birds! I'm sorry, I'm an asshole. I mean, I'll eat the bread, I don't give a shit. Just probably don't throw it on the ground first. Okay, nope. Drawing. Hopscotch. Never understood it. I'm gonna be real? Me either. Neighbor! My first fuller neighbor. Wait, we're home? Good day. Good day to you. So we went on a leisurely stroll for almost a fucking month and nobody asked? I don't know if I should be irritated or... This is my staircase. Yeah, mine. Everybody else can fuck off. Boss? What am I, a fucking foreman or something? Got any spare change? Oh. I found some... Some money. Way back when, but they wouldn't let me take it. Oh, it seems a lot more like a uh, fourth floor, but okay. If, I don't know if I should be irritated that they never went looking for me. Please see you, mister. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. You know, I wonder what, like, the fast speed run is. Like, three days at absolute minimum. And they still say that. Oh, rug. How about a door? Scribbles! Probably the work of the kids from the neighbor apartment block. You damn kids! Oh look, infestation. Even better. All broken down. Just how I like it. That might be my door. Same so. Home sweet home. My wardrobe. Take off my coat. It's been a long few weeks. Locked in a key. What about my key? Is my money still in here? Hi, Sir Zack. Missed me? Uh, puppy! Oh, a well, puppy I don't have to kill. Oh, how did you eat? Maybe my neighbors aren't complete assholes. Wardrobe. Fabric. Bedroom key. More fabric. Oh, puppy. Good boy. Throw on the TV for you. Okay, I guess I have it away for you. Have some brightness, bud. You've earned it. dish from the closet under the sink. I just call that a cupboard, but okay. Pour myself a bowl. It's not too much. I'm sorry, it's not much, but it's enough. I don't remember the last time I've eaten at home dinner. Uh, at least 25 days, possibly 26. Or more. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
good to be home. Got my bed. White crumpled sheets looks like it's been woken up. At last! Got my sword legs buckling underneath my body. Underneath me, my body becoming heavy and overwhelmingly lethargic. It was a grueling journey, 26 days of human torment. With my last strength, I stopped myself from falling asleep. Something forces me to move away from the bed. Did I forget to do something? Yet yeah, eat. Well, I, I guess we already did eat that. Close everything up. Okay. Ship tomorrow. That's yeah, the door open for the pupper. Let's go to sleep. Sedating warmth washes over me, along with security and happiness. What's gonna ruin it? I wanna wake back up in the hideout, aren't I? <laughs> The rustle of the wood stretching away from the horizon kept the stranger awake for a long time. Eventually, fatigue washed over him, and a man fell into a deep, much desired dream. Burning the tree opened the road home for many of the anguished inhabitants of the forest. Only three outcasts dressed in old rags and scraps lamented over the charred remains. The wolf made a triumphant return to his hideout, his ego growing even bigger as he basked in the glow of his loot. However, the sweetness of his victory was not able to satisfy his single deepest desire. When the stranger killed the only sow in the village, its inhabitants, afraid of another specter of starvation, broke through one of the forest walls. However, the other side they only found a flooded, infertile land, sick, devoid of all hope, and extremely weak. They scattered around the forest, finally becoming one with it. The lonely musician finally managed to get through the pretty lady's room. He untied her from the bed and fell into her embrace. The musician made his dream come true, and the pretty lady could finally satisfy her hunger. Piotek never finished his building his rocket. He remains in the woods, dreaming about space travels. The barricaded cottage at the swamp became a prison for the three children. The oldest boy kept locked in his room following his escape attempt. Would long remember his only journey through the woods, a visit to the house of the overgrown with white mushrooms. Ride. 
Oh, boy. Got a little bit repetitive and mildly irritating closer to the end, but holy fuck, that was great. That was real good. Hmm. Dare I say near perfect. Why the fuck is there a bodyguard position? <laughs> nice. Holy Jesus. Well, everybody, that was Darkwood. I don't think there's going to be a sequel or DLC, but who knows? Oh, boy. But, everybody, can going to end it off here. Got a Discord link in the description. Check that out. But I hope you all enjoyed what you saw here today, and I'll see you all in the next series.